Hello everybody, it's me, Caitlin. Today I am making a lemon soap. So if you wanna see how that turns out, keep on watching. I am going to be doing the heat transfer method. I just mixed up this live solution. It is still very hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in here. In my uh, container here, I have shea butter coconut oil, and palm oil. And now you just melt down all of these hard oils and butters. You might notice that I have like ice cream scoops of um, coconut oil and palm oil. And that's because I use a ice cream scooper to get all my oils out. I have my room temperature liquid oils um, off to the side, which consist of canola oil and some sunflower oil. A lot of people kind of sleep on canola oil, but uh, I have not found a difference in my soaps that have olive oil versus canola oil as far as their performance goes. I've had both. My old recipe was olive oil. And with the prices of everything going up, I thought, how can I make an effective, really good bar of soap without breaking the bank and charging people an arm and a leg to clean their bodies? So I went with canola oil. And it's been working great. The soap doesn't smell funky or anything. It's pretty good. All right, so finally about five minutes later, I have it all melted down. And here are my soft oils here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to my melted oils. I'm gonna scrape out this so I don't leave any oil behind. These white bowls came from Dollar Tree. My big clear square container came from Amazon. They were $11 on Amazon. Um, and these spatulas I got at Hobby Lobby on sale in their baking section. And they were like a couple dollars each, but they are very soft and flexible, which I like for scraping out bowls. There's this one. It's more of a flat, elongated one in this one. So I really like both of them. And I'm just checking the stick blender for separation and there still is lots of separation on the stick blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir it up a little bit. And stick blend for another couple seconds. And that is not separating. So let me go ahead and scrape this off. Oh man, right to the top. <laughs> so if I fill it any more, it could spill out that back section. So I have like a few more, maybe like a couple ounces more left in this big container that I'm gonna scrape.
and try to get the rest of it into here. In this one, I'm going to be adding some oil dispersed titanium dioxide. Just to lighten up that face a little bit because I am adding some lemon powder to this layer. Just a couple little scoops, nothing too wild. And this lemon powder I got from um, Wholesale Supplies Plus. And this will have the speckles in it. I'm just trying to make sure I get that mixed up good before I add the fragrance. Just in case the fragrance decides to do something crazy. Now my scale is a little crusty crusty. So don't you judge that. I'm going to go ahead and add well, half of my fragrance oil to this half of the batch. And this is just lemon. And it looks like apparently at some point I used this lemon fragrance and I didn't realize that. So I went ahead and just did half of the lemon in there and then I'm going to also add lemon squares. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this just to top off the fragrance load there. And these are not essential oils, um, it's just fragrance. So far it's looking good. And I have to be really careful about, oops, sorry, I have to be really careful about this section right here that I don't splash it out. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend until it's at like a medium to thick trace. Alrighty. Carefully, I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my mold. And I'm going to go ahead and scrape out my bowl and then I'll bring you back for the next layer. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and add my lemon fragrance. And a little bit of my lemon square. Take this off, it's very, very high, so I don't wanna spill it. And then I know that it reacts well, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my colorant. This is um, Lemon Drop Mica, and you can see it has like a really pretty shimmer to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just add all of this, because I want this section to be nice and bright. And lemony. Okay. Now let's go ahead and stir this section up. I'm trying to use a different spatula so I can have a cleaner spatula here. 
kind of got my finger here to block <laughs> the soap. Oh, geez. Put my rag there. So it looks like the fragrance in the mica mixed and it made a little made it a little darker. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just quit stirring because that's not doing me any favors. And I'm going to stick blend. Get as much junk off of this as I can. As much soap, I should say. And I'm gonna block it. This should turn yellow. I can't imagine this staying orange. All right, here we go. This is going to be a disaster. It's so stinking full that it's like bowing. Um, let's see here. No, nope, I'm just going to have to go for it, I guess, and not dump it all over the place and not break this bowl. Um, that'd be great. All right. I did it. I did it. I don't know what it looks like on the inside. I probably broke through a little bit, but oops, sorry. Just bumped my little stand here. Let it go ahead and scrape this out. so excited I thought about sprinkling some lemon peel granules on top but I don't know yet we will see all right I'm gonna go ahead and texturize the top here and I don't know what I'm gonna do Eh. maybe swirl it And it's starting to thicken up a little bit. There's little air bubbles coming up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I don't have any soap on anything. So I took my gloves off. I don't know, <laughs> slap it. Oh, I can't pick it up because there's a little bit of soap on the sides. Alrighty, so here is the top. light down a little bit so it's just a little bit of swirlies on top and I will bring you guys back for the cut alrighty we are back and I have a surprise for you this is the soap It did go back to yellow. There's the top. So, and you could see the little speckles in there too. It's a little soft on the edges. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this cut up. I'm having a fondue party tonight and I have to get my dining room clean, which is where I'm at right now. At least clean enough for 
people to eat in here. <laughs> Get my soaping stuff out of the way. Hey, buddy. You can watch. Don't touch any of the soap, though. It's sticky still. You're touching sticky soap. Mm-hmm. Uh, Smells good. What is it? Mommy. It's lemon. Lemon. Yep. You like lemon soap? Yep. I like sour lemon. Mommy. Yeah, I really like these. Yeah. They're healthy. They're healthy? Because mm -hmm. they're lemons? Mm hmm Healthy soap. Well, they're all going to look like this, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting the rest of them. Um... I'll probably put music over it, fast forward it, or just cut it out completely and bring you back for the final bar. Alrighty, so this bar here on the right is where I first poured the soap down and it broke through just a little bit, which is no big deal. It still looks fine. And over here is what the rest of the soap looks like. So all I have to do is um, plane and bevel these and uh, that's it. I'm not going to be able to do it today because the bars are still a little sticky. Um, but that will happen probably tomorrow. And then I also have um, samples. These ones here are samples. These ones go into my sampler pack. And then this one is just a larger sample for me because I really like the scent. Then here are my bars that I just have to clean up, including these two. And that is it. <laughs> my kids are being crazy. Alrighty, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.